Hey everyone, RK Stud with you. I'm going to be presenting to you Pro Wrestling Ohio. It was also called Prime Wrestling Ohio. The bigger, the biggest star from there is Jason Bain, Johnny Gargano. <clears throat> but from this ep episode, from where they take their matches, I'm going to be highlighting Benjamin Boone against Tim Horner Jr. Now Benjamin Boone, I get to see almost every month here in Fremont. Wrestle for Live Pro Wrestling. Right now he's the current champ. And Live Pro Wrestling is owned and run by Tim Horner Jr. So that is the special significance of this. If you're ever in Fremont or make the trip, every second Saturday of the month is usually Live Pro Wrestling. At the Strand down in downtown Fremont, Ohio. And usually at the end of June... It's usually the big show of the year called Fight for Fremont, where all the storylines and all the big matches happen. If you come out, I suggest you do and have a good time. Now, on with the match itself. Big Bear Benjamin set for one-on-one -on -one competition. Nate Madsen, a week from tonight, defends the television championship against Omega Eric Draven. But check out this new whipping boy, Ben Fruit. Poor Ben Fruit being abused and pushed around. Wait a minute, which one's Ben Fruit? Is he on top of the trophy? You guys little. And keep in mind, Benjamin Boone still unpinned since aligning with Nate Madsen. Ben Fruth, check off the jacket for Benjamin Boone. He knows his role. And his opponent, he weighs in at 230 pounds, and he's from Toledo, Ohio. Here is Tim Horner Jr. Yay. Tim Horner Jr. making his return to PWO. Had it a couple times in years past, but what a tough test in his future in the form of the unpinned Ben Boone. The Broski, I'm going to give you a history lesson. Tim Horner Jr.'s very first match, he wrestled me. And I put him up in my F5, and I dropped him like a bad habit, and I covered him, and I pinned him for the three count. I don't know if you remember that or not. No, 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 no. exactly like that. But we heard from Megan Aaron Graven a moment ago. We heard from Arrow Form at the, top, at the bottom of the last segment, sending a very uh, determined message to Shima Zion after Shima's assault with the spray paint on Michael Massad recently. Well, that was something that was some people would call a disgusting act. A disgusting act by Shima Zion. I thought it was justified. Because I believe that FYI Shima Zion is now walking wild up in SmackDown. About Shima Zion's hair. He said that he got a car. Car Legato El Fantasma. Do I care about that? Joe, I'm just trying to tell you the facts. Do you want Mr. Briggs over here? Wait a second. Now, Nate Madsen just walked down the back of Ben Fruit. Well, he didn't have stairs. That's what Ben Fruit does. I don't want to be caught on camera, shockingly, but Nate Madsen walking down the back of Ben Fruit, using it as makeshift stairs. How more distance, and Fruit's got to hold the trophy. How egotistical can the Sons of Michigan be? Bought Fruit's contract and he's still missing Mike Tolar. You know, I would love to hold that beautiful trophy. I think they're doing Ben Fruit a favor. Oh, Horner got knocked down with authority by Benjamin Boone. And pointing to that hand, that Michigan symbol. Shot kicked by Horner Jr. Second time. Dazing the big man here, but no. Nope. Nope. Once in a while, once too often, Joe. Absolutely. We're going to hear after this matchup comments from both Sex Appeal as well as the Homeless Handicap Connection, Gregory Allen and Hobo Joe. Those teams will meet for a tag team championship next week on this broadcast. Iron Hobo beat Sex Appeal to earn a shot, and as a result, 
Gone decades, gone forever. Yeah, that was too bad. Sex Appeal let us all down when that happened. Weren't you let down, Joe Dombrowski? I know I was. How about Virgil taking Don Decadence away? That might have been the moment of the year in Pro Wrestling Ohio. And Madison getting involved. Where? Where? I think they're on a replay. They're trying Jumping to replay. out Warner Jr. Nate Madsen, the former live pro wrestling champ. I'm working over that leg. That's a move that was taught to him by Nate Madsen. Was, well, Nate Madsen's taught Ben doing a lot. That's why he has not been pinned over a year. And Ben Fruits would be the same way. Just listen to the man. Nate Madsen, he knows his stuff. He's a television champion. He holds a trophy from the tournament. You really think Nate Madsen's going to spend a hard work? Training Ben Fruit, work with Ben Fruit. Why not? He did it with uh, Ben Boone. And, and you know what? Not only that, Nate Madsen, he's amazing. It ben, says so right on his jacket. Ben Fruit is in action next week. Nate Madsen says he's got another test for him. He told Ben Fruit to collect a Bane bounty. Go up against Marshall Gambino. Really? I'm going to learn anything that way. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I'm buying more TV time. Don't think he learned that from Nate Manson or from the University of Michigan. Oh boy. Yes, here it comes. My favorite finisher. One, two, three. The Bear Trap, Joe. The Bear Trap DDT gets the job. Don Benjamin Boone. Here is your decisive winner, victory. Big Bear Benjamin Boone. I know the camera's not getting this right now. But Tim Warner Jr. is on the ground, on the mat. You search my channel, you can see LPW matches, especially one that says Ben Boone versus Mystery Opponent. Go ahead, I'll I'll spoil it for you. It's Tim Warner Jr. In the center of the ring, Boone is still unbeaten. Let's check out this Bear Trap DDT one more time. Oh, got dropped hard. Ladies and gentlemen, Sex Appeal, Homeless Handicap Connection, next week for the tag team titles, Boone, still on pin.